Hi students, welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang derivative of trigonometric functions. Let's proceed with the formula. d over dx of sin x is equal to cosine x. d over dx of cosine x is equal to negative sin x. d over dx of tangent x is equal to second square x. d over dx of cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x cotangent x d over dx of second x is equal to second x tangent x and d over dx of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant square x. So medyo maraming formula na tatandaan dito at yung medyo nakakalito lamang kung ano yung uh, functions kung saan ang derivative niya ay negative katulad nito. Ano ba sa sine at cosine ang ma-equivalent na negative yung derivative? Okay? Ganon din sa tangent at cotangent, ganon din sa second at cosecant. So, ang tinatandaan ko rito is, kapag nagsisimula sa letter C yung function, ang equivalent niya ay negative. Okay? For example, uh, derivative ng cosine x is equal to negative sine x. So, negative yung equivalent niya. Derivative ng cotangent, nagsisimula sa letter C, negative cosecant square x. And then, derivative nung cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x cotangent x. Okay? Again, yung derivative ng trigonometric functions na nagsisimula sa letter C ay negative ang equivalent. Okay? So, kapag naman gagamit tayo ng chain rule, pareho lang siya ng formula. Ang nadagdag lamang dito is magta-times tayo ng derivative nung inside function or yung argument. Okay? Like sin u, itatimes natin siya sa du over dx. Okay? So lahat ng iyan, kapag gagamitan natin ng chain rule, itatimes mo lamang siya sa derivative ng argument or inside function. Okay? So let's have a quick example. So y is equal to sin x plus cosine x. Ang derivative ng sin x ay cosine x based on these formulas. And then, cosine x, ang derivative niya is negative sin x. So, y prime is equal to cosine x minus sin x. Yun na agad yung ating sagot. Next, y is equal to tangent x over 3 minus cotangent x. So, itong tangent x over 3 ay pwede natin ilabas yung constant na 1 third and then derivative ng tangent x is second square x. So, we have 1 third second square x and then minus derivative ng cotangent x is negative cosecant square x kasi nagsisimula siya sa letter C kaya negative ang equivalent niya na derivative so negative cosecant square x and then we have 1 third second square x negative times negative positive cosecant square x na siya okay next y is equal to second 3x minus cosecant 5x dito tayo gagamit ng chain rule derivative ng second 3x is second 3x tangent 3x Okay, ito yung formula na to. Times derivative ng 3x, which is 3. Okay? Minus derivative ng cosecant 5x, itong gagamitin na formula. Negative cosecant 5x, cotangent 5x, times derivative ng 5x, okay, which is 5. And then, we have 3 second 3x tangent 3x plus negative times negative is positive. So, 5 sec cosecant 5x, cotangent 5x. And then the last one, y is equal to sin 4x minus tangent x square. Derivative ng sin 4x is cosine 4x times 4. So 4 cosine 4x, derivative ng tangent x square is second x square times derivative ng x square which is 2x. Kaya minus 2x second x square. Let's have the first example. Number 1, y is equal to sin cotangent 3x square. So, itong cotangent 3x square ay yung argument ng sine function. So, that means gagamit tayo ng chain rule. So, y prime is equal to cosine cotangent 3x square. Ito yung derivative ng sine. Okay, cosine. And then, kopyahin lang natin yung cotangent 3x square times derivative ng cotangent 3x square. So, ano ba yung derivative niya? Negative cosecant 3x square. Gagamit pa rin tayo rito ng chain rule dahil ang 3x square is a function of x. So, we have the derivative of 3x square which is 6x. And then, pag samasamayin lang natin sila, negative 6x, bakit naging negative ito? Kasi may negative dito sa cosecant 3x square. Kaya negative 6x cosecant 3x square, kinopya lang ito, cosine cotangent 3x square. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Next, number 2, y is equal to cosine x sine square 
x. This is a product of two functions, kaya gagamit tayo ng product rule. Let u is equal to cosine x, then du over dx is equal to negative sine x. v is equal to sine square x, then dv over dx, gagamit tayo rito ng power rule. Kasi itong sine square x ay pwede natin isulat as sine x quantity square. So magiging 2 sine x, bakit sine x na lang? Kasi 2 minus 1 ay 1 na lang ang exponent. Times derivative ng sine x which is cosine x. Then we have 2 sine x cosine x. Okay? Then by using the product rule, we have u dv plus v du. So cosine x times 2 sine x cosine x. Ito yon Plus v which is sine square x times negative sine x which is du. Okay? And then, i-multiply natin ito rito. We have 2 sine x cosine square x minus sine square x times sine x is sine cube x. And then, kung ang pinapasulat sa inyo ng inyong teacher ay in terms of sine x, then cosine square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x. Distribute natin ito. 2 sine x times 1 is 2 sine x. 2 sine x minus sine square x is 2 sine cube x. Negative siya. Minus sine cube x. And then, we have 2 sine x. Pagsasamay natin itong dalawang ito, we have minus 3 sine cube x. Okay? And this is the final answer. Okay? So, meron pa tayong alternative formula rito. We can uh, rewrite y equals cosine x sine square x into cosine x times 1 minus cosine square x where in sine square x ay equivalent siya nito. So, we have cosine x minus cosine cube x by distributive property. Sa method na ito, hindi na tayo gagamit ng product rule. So, derivative of sine x is negative sine x. Derivative ng cosine cube x, gagamit tayo ng power rule. So, magiging 3 minus 3. Cosine square x, 3 minus 1 ay 2. So, kaya cosine square x siya times derivative ng cosine x mismo. Okay? Dahil ang cosine cube x ay equal sa cosine x quantity cube. Okay, so derivative ng cosine x is negative sine x. Then we have negative sine x. Negative times negative is positive. So 3 cosine square x sine x. And then if we are going to rewrite this in terms of sine function only, so 3 sine x times 1 minus sine square x, ito yung equivalent ng cosine square x. Okay, and then by distributive, 3 sine x times 1 is 3 sine x. 3 sin x times negative sin square x is 3 sa, negative 3 sin cube x. And then, ito ay ating pagsasamahin. So, negative sin x plus 3 sin x is 2 sin x minus, kopyahin lang natin ito, 3 sin cube x. And that is the final answer. Let's have example number 3. Y is equal to 1 plus second x over 1 minus second x. Dahil naka-express siya as a quotient of two functions, gagamitin natin ang quotient rule. Let u is equal to 1 plus second x, then du over dx is equal to second x tangent x. Derivative kasi ng 1 ay 0 na. Next, v is equal to 1 minus second x, then dv over dx is equal to negative second x tangent x. Then, by applying the quotient rule, we have v is equal to 1 minus second x times du, which is second x tangent x. Pinagbaligtad ko lang siya dahil inuna ko yung monomial. And then, minus uh, 1 plus second x, which is u, and then times dv over dx, which is negative second x tangent x, okay, over the square of the denominator, which is 1 minus second x, okay? And then by distributive property, second x tangent x times 1 is second x tangent x times negative second x. So, madadoble ang ating second x dito. Kaya magiging minus second square x and then tangent x plus. Okay, bakit naging plus ito? Negative times negative is positive. Okay, so second x tangent x times 1 is second x tangent x plus siya. Again, dahil negative times negative is positive. Ita times natin doon sa second x. So, madudobli ulit yung second x natin. Kaya second square x tangent x over kopyahin lang yung denominator. So, meron tayong makakancel dito. Itong second square x tangent x negative siya. Ito ay positive. Then, matitira tayo ng second x tangent x, second x tangent x. Kapag na-plus natin, magiging 2 second x tangent x over kopyahin ang denominator. So, kung mag apply tayo rito ng mga trigonometric identities is wala na naman tayong makakancel. So, ito na yung ating final answer.
Let's have the next example. Y is equal to ln cotangent x plus 1 over cotangent x minus 1. So, i-apply natin dito yung derivative of the natural logarithmic function wherein the derivative of ln u is equal to 1 over u times du over dx kung saan ang u natin dito yung kanyang argument which is cotangent x plus 1 over cotangent x minus 1. Then by applying that, we have 1 over u which is cotangent x plus 1 over cotangent x minus 1 times derivative ng argument or inside function cotangent x plus 1 over cotangent x minus 1. So, gagamit tayo rito ng quotient rule. Let u is equal to cotangent x plus 1, then du over dx is equal to negative cosecant square x. Nagsisimula ka sa letter C, kaya negative yung equivalent niya na derivative. Then v is equal to cotangent x minus 1, dv over dx is equal to negative cosecant square x. Pareho lang sila ng derivative dahil hindi naman naka yung minus 1 at saka yung plus 1. Sila ay parehong constants. And then by substitution, we have v which is cotangent x minus 1. Nilagay ko siya dito sa kanan kasi binomial siya. And then negative cosecant square x. Nilagay ko dito sa left side kasi monomial siya. Minus, ganun din ang ginawa ko rito sa kabila. So, cotangent x plus 1, ito yon And then we have negative cosecant square x over cotangent x minus 1 quantity square. Okay? And then by distributive property, Negative cosecant square x cotangent x. Minultiply natin dito sa negative 1. Kaya magiging positive cosecant square x na siya. And then, negative times negative magiging positive ito. Kaya magiging plus cosecant square x cotangent x. Tapos dito naman sa dulo plus cosecant square x. So, meron tayo ritong makakancel na part. Ito yon Negative cosecant square x cotangent x at saka itong positive cosecant square x cotangent x. Ang matitira dyan ay ito. Cosecant square x times cosecant square x is 2 cosecant square x. Then copy the denominator. Ito ay okay na siya dahil wala naman tayong makakancel kahit gamitan natin siya ng mga trigonometric identities. So by substitution... Bakit ito nabaligtad? Kasi kukunin natin ang reciprocal nitong u, which is cotangent x minus 1 over cotangent x plus 1. Ita times natin sa derivative nito, which is ito nga, nakuha na natin. Itong part na ito, nire-write ko lang dito. Then, may makakancel tayo rito itong cotangent x minus 1 at cotangent x minus 1. Since square ito, matitiran tayo ng isang factor. Okay? Then, copy ito, copy rin yung numerator. And then, the last part is imumultiply natin ito. Then, we have 2 sec cosecant square x over cotangent square x minus 1. Kung naging positive sana ito, pwede tayong magkaroon ng cosecant square x na value. Since negative, ito na yung ating final answer. Next example, find the derivative of y is equal to sine square square root of x minus cosine square square root of x. So, kukunin natin ang derivative ng dalawang terms. Itong sine square square root of x, pwedeng ganito siya. Okay? So, gagamitin natin ang power rule. Then, we have 2 sine square root of x times derivative ng sine square root of x which is cosine square root of x times another chain rule ito. Derivative naman na square root of x which is 1 over 2 square root of x minus. Ganun din sa cosine square root of x. So, we have 2 cosine square root of x times derivative ng cosine square root of x, yung inside function natin. So, we have negative sine square root of x times ulit derivative naman nitong argument na square root of x which is 1 over 2 square root of x. Then, by simplification, cancel itong 2 at saka 2. Then, we have sine square root of x cosine square root of x over square root of x na lang. Plus, ganun din dito, magiging positive kasi ito. Negative times negative, positive. So, cosine square root of x, sine square root of x. Then, we have, uh, i-add natin ito. So, 2 sine square root of x, cosine square root of x, dahil pareho silang ng terms. So, copy lang ang denominator. And then, this numerator is equivalent to a double angle identity. So, we have 2 sine a, cosine a, is equal to sine 2a wherein itong a natin dito is square root of x. Kaya tayo nagkaroon dito ng sine 2 square root of x over square root of x. Ito yung ating final answer. Kasi nga kapag trigonometric function sa pinag-uusapan natin, kailangan ay kabisa mo yung mga trigonometric identities. Okay? Katulad nito, may alternative tayong formula rito na mas madali kung saan i-rewrite -re natin itong function na ito 
into a single function. Okay? So, magagamit lang ito kung may equivalent naman talaga. Kasi may times na ang given talaga na function ay walang equivalent dun sa ating trigonometric identities. Kung mayroon, pwede natin siyang gamitin. So, marerewrite natin ito as negative quantity cosine square square root of x minus sine square square root of x. Okay? So, ito may equivalent sa ating double angle identity which is cosine 2 square root of x. Dahil ang cosine 2a is equal to cosine square a minus sine square a. Marami pang equivalent itong cosine 2a. Let's do review on the trigonometric identities. Then we have y prime is equal to negative. Tinan mo, derivative na lang itong kukunin natin. Which is negative sine 2 square root of x times derivative ng 2 square root of x. Which is 2 times 1 over 2 square root of x. Cancel yung 2. So, negative times negative is positive. So, sine 2 square root of x over square root of x, which is the same as the first one. Okay? So, kung ako ang papipiliin, mas madali itong nire-write na natin siya. Okay? So, paano ko halimbawa binigyan kayo ng function na y is equal to sine square x plus cosine square x. So, kapag pinakompute sa inyo ang derivative nito, kukunin nyo pa ang derivative nitong dalawa, di ba? Okay? Pero may equivalent ito agad na 1. Kasi sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. Then, marirewrite mo siya as y is equal to 1. And the derivative of 1 is equal to 0. So, therefore, y prime is equal to 0. Okay? So, malaking tulong yung paggamit ng trigonometric identities, especially kung ang function ay medyo complicated. Pero kung hindi natin siya marirewrite into a simpler form, wala tayong magagawa kundi kunin ang derivative ng given na function.